What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode. I'm trying again. Yesterday we had some technical issues with the video that went up, but that's not your concern. You're here to hang out with me today and play Don't Bite Me Bro yet again. So hopefully this time around things will go a little bit more swell, things won't have any technical issues, and we'll have a good time playing a game that's basically a zombie based defense game. You might like it, you might not, but either way, welcome on back. Let's check the game out, yep. A peaceful village, although it looks like they have like a little rustic medieval area there in the middle. Huh. Girl Scout selling cookies, always doing damage to my wallet. A flying breath mint soars through the sky with its anus effervescing violently. <laughs> and then a bunch of people walking to work. I'm just going to narrate what's happening here. Every time I get this video, it's a little bit different. And watch those people right there, they'll walk into the wall. Watch that, they'll walk into the wall and they'll stop. <laughs> Every time Breath Mint destroy these people, they're too stupid to continue living. Go ahead, Breath Mint. I don't blame you. It's not your fault, Breath Mint. These people are too dumb to walk around. These people are in their undies. Or at least those blonde people on the front left were. Go back and rewind it. They were. They were in their undies. Balls in the hospital. Balls in the church. Balls in the cave. That's how you know they work. And then apparently that building looks like a if you had to work there every single day that building seems like it'd be mildly depressing a truck speeds away dude it is allergy season right now I'm not even playing with you at the moment it is so deep inside of allergy season for me right now oh my god I woke up today and my entire face felt like it was just made of itches I'm just like Ugh, why all right so we wake up next to our truck let's go have a look here uh, quick follow me I will I will follow you you and your super awesome. I can't tell. Glad to see somebody made it. I can't decide if that's a cape or if it's like a bandana gone wrong. I've been living off the land before all this happened. Or if it's some kind of gnome hood that he's just pulled behind his head. My camp is up ahead. That's, I just keep moving, man. I just keep moving. Damn it. They got through again. No, how could they? Cruel little bastards. It wants me to join when I'm ready. And join when I'm ready, I shall. Let's go ahead, and actually, I'm going to slap on in real quick. Uh, yeah, that looks about right to me. Oh, apparently the dead ones that broke his wall are still around here. And so he wants me to go over there and club them real fast. I'm pretty good with the clubbing, so I'm going to make it happen, Captain. Let's go do some clubbing. <coughs> Picking up boards. Kill that horde. <coughs> Won't be ignored. Kill that dude right now. All right, so we'll grab that. We've got 19 boards on that side. I'm going to swing up to the north. Literally, because I'm going to swing at zombies once I get up here. And I've gotten pretty good at whacking zombies and walking away. You gotta do like a little dance move right here. Just bucka chicka bow, bucka chicka bow, bucka chicka bucka chicka bucka chicka bow. So you gotta like dance in and then dance out. You gotta hit them in the crotch real fast too. These zombies, destroying their brain. Dude, that guy's ass is out. That sucks. If you look at his little texture right there, it's normal except for his butt is hanging out. Weak. I hope I'm not the zombie where my butt falls out. It's never a good sign when your butt falls out. I would just prefer for me not to be that zombie. I just don't want to be that guy. I like how these things all plane themselves perfectly without me having to interact with them at all. I just hit the tree with what looks like a baseball bat, which as far as I know is probably not an efficient item for chopping down trees. Oh, that's right. I can't walk outside of his radius. Okay, now store that wood at the storehouse for safekeeping. Why do you just like live in a hut on the edge of town, man? What did you do? Little Binos to us now that the world is in it. He's like the village molester. They banished him out here to live by himself in like a wood hut. <laughs> and now nobody knows. They were all turned into zombies. And now we are under the direct tutelage. If you received your tutorial from a molester, does that make you a bad person? <laughs> These are the questions you have to ask yourself here at the Nerd Castle. Like, does that sincerely, does that make me a bad person? What if I'm unaware of it? Like, if a, well, if a molester gives you a quest to store like a bunch of building supplies inside of a hut. Does that make you a bad person because you contributed to his life in some way? It's tough, man. I don't know. He wants me to repair this wall. Oh, that board fell over. There we go. All right, so let's repair his wall real quick. Bam! Replace that wall. Build a mall. Gonna make a fence that will not fall. To the left right now. To the right right now. All right, so spikes everywhere around the camp. I am gonna spike the hell out of this place. This is place, and actually this part of the tutorial right here, uh, pay attention, you can actually farm as much wood as you want to farm right now, and you can put in as many defenses as you want to put in right now too. Did you just ghost through a wall, bro? Dude, stop with those ghostly shenanigans around me. That shit is horrifying. You've got ghost powers. 
We can't hang out no more. My mom says we can't be friends because you've got ghost powers. She doesn't trust ghost powers either. Call me superstitious, mega-stitious, whatever type of stitious you want to call me. But at the same time, we don't mess around with that ghosty shit. It's kind of terrifying, ain't it not? It seems kind of terrifying to me. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to open up our menu, and I'm going to put in spikes, and I happen to know that usually the first attack comes from the north. And so what we're going to do up here is we are going to put down some spikes. Ka-ching! 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 The game doesn't have sound effects, so i got to do it. Ka-ching! There we go. The game doesn't have sound effects. It's not my fault. Ka-ching! 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 And there, you see, you get the point. I go ka-ching, and then I put down a spike wall. I don't know if ka-ching is a sound that a spike wall would make. Son of a bitch! Alright, so this gives me a good opportunity to show you guys how I messed up here. So how I messed up is you can actually take this, and you can move it like that. The game is super simple. Like, the controls are hella easy to, like, pick up. Seriously, they're not bad at all. You'll learn how to play this game really quickly. If you could just follow me somewhere where there's better trees... I would appreciate it. Oh, never mind. It's trapping me inside the tutorial space. But I don't want to be trapped inside the tutorial space. All right, so we'll go back through. We'll get this rocked. And there it is. He wants me to upgrade some walls right now. I'm going to wait till I have a better wood supply just because upgrading the walls is actually kind of expensive. And if I'm going to upgrade them, I want them all to be upgraded. The basic fence walls are not going to keep out the zombies for very long. The zombie's going to be up in our business pretty quickly. All right. Well, here. I'll upgrade three walls. He says some. He doesn't give us, like, a specific number. So I'm assuming it's somewhere between, like, three and five. It also looks like there's something over there. I don't know what that was. It was off camera. It was off camera looking hella rowdy. It looked like it wanted to kill me. So I'm going to assume everything wants to kill me until I get further in. There we go. I have upgraded your walls. Are you not pleased, sir? Dear bearded individual, you are still not happy. Okay, well then I will continue to farm out wood and upgrade my walls. Fine then. I feel like I've upgraded more than enough walls, bro. I feel like I have upgraded several walls and it's time for us to move forward. So I've collected several planks of woods. He said to like... There we go. You must be starved! I am pretty hungry. I do have a hankering. A hungry hankering. And so he wants me to eat at the fire. Because everybody knows when you get by, bit by zombies, eating a bunch of corn next to a fire makes your health come back. Break open a bullet box and learn how to defend yourself. Bullet box! Alright, so with the bullet box, this is actually pretty simple. You take the gun, you right click, and then you left click where you want to shoot. And it's actually weirdly accurate. I don't know if the hitboxes are just like extra generous, or... Okay, so our first herd is coming in right now. Here they come! He's got a feeling a herd will be coming soon. If you see a herd, is there any irony there? Or is that just punny? I can't decide. And it's going to bother me for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. going to pound on some zombies. The single that I'm working on. It's called For the Rest of My Life, parentheses, going to pound. <laughs> Close parentheses. Oh, the zombies are coming from this way. Well, that's nice of them. I'm going to sway. Stop that zombie. Oh, look, I took his bone. I took a zombie's bone today. And then from now on, we actually kind of just get to play the game free play as much as we want, I think. Let's gather resources before they return. Okay, well, I guess we don't get to free play just yet. I wanted to free play. But it ain't going to let me. But the zombies ain't going to get me. Let's gather some resources before they return. I like that voice. It's fun to do. I find that the more like, uh, I don't know what that is right there when you do that with your voice, when you go, uh, but like, the more of that that you do, the better off you are. Maybe it can stop all this. Dude, I just beat a pizza out of a trash can. Uh, it wants me to tab for the map. Okay, we have tabbed for the map. I am happy. I just want this pizza out of this trash can. Is there anything else inside here? Dude, I just made a garbage mess. Collect gas for the truck. There it is. <gasps> Zombie! I'm trying to save your life right now, man. I'm trying to save your life, but I can't see. I can't see. The map was in the way. Oh my god. The professor got murdered. What happens if the professor... I'm calling him the professor, but previously we had called him the village molester. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure which time... I think I'll, I think I'll go with... I think I'll go with, like, the, um... The wood wizard. 
it looks like it spawns zombies when you break these trucks. So breaking trucks is pretty sweet. You don't actually want materials. And in fact, I wouldn't even call the resources in this game wood. They're just materials. But if you bust up trucks, I found that if you bust up cars, the best thing you can do is find cars and destroy them. And every time a piece of paneling comes off, you get 10 wood for that. It's amazing. Like, seriously, it's super good. And so I would just bust the paneling off of all these. I'll get my truck back in just a minute. My truck's that red one over there. He tells you that later on in the tutorial if you do a good job at protecting him and keeping him from the lands of death. But I did not do a good job at that. And so, oh, look, you can chop down trees with your truck. Yeah! I'm a trucker jack. Hell yeah. Trucker jack! Who even knew that that would work? That was amazing, dude. It'll probably bust up my walls, though, if it'll bust up everything else. Now we just go... Oh, the wood disappears? Oh, no! No! What a terrible... Don't do that! That's a terrible mechanic. I don't like that at all. You gotta let me trucker jack for a little while. And then once I trucker jack, you gotta let me... Get my hard-won spoils. Because they were hard-run. I had to ram a truck into that tree for several long, arduous seconds in order to get the payoff that I feel I rightfully deserve. Alright, so herd number three. And this is pretty much how the game functions from now on. There's, like, stuff you can do. Like, you can run around and do, like, little quests and things like that. I still haven't figured out how to save the game just yet. I've played through, like, a bunch of times. And I don't know if saving actually works. It's got save slots, but I don't know if they're placeholders or anything right now. I don't know. I fiddled with it, but it didn't work out so great. I assume in some way you come back over here. And then once you're back over here and you're, like, depositing your stuff. I could upgrade it? Dude, I need to upgrade. I can also kill myself by holding down the escape key. That is also an option. I can commit self-murder. But yeah, I haven't figured out how to save the game yet. This little thing pops up at the top. And frankly, I haven't figured it out yet. The game doesn't appear to have like any concurrent menus or anything like that that you can fiddle around with. So for today, we're just going to play. We're just going to play today, and hopefully it works out. I... Oh, our truck is almost out of gas. Well, that sucks. That doesn't just suck. It truck sucks. Uh, there's people around that you can bring back to your fort if you do, like, little quests and things for them. Like, this person over here at the police station, she'll be like, oh, no, she got turned into a zombie, too. Well, ain't that a bitch. Okay, well, I guess she's a zombie now. We gotta go rescue somebody. Rescuing. I'm being a rescuer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like they spawn in different spots, too. As far as I could tell, anyways. The last time I played the game, there was a couple people that needed to be rescued up here. Maybe they've been zombified already. We're gonna have a lonely, lonely journey, unfortunately. Yeah, refill my gas, too. Beat the paneling off all these cars so that they're not in the way no more. There we go. You, sir. Let me collect your paneling. Yes, your delicious panels. All of your panels are belong to us. That's right. Old memes, but they check out. That was a Prager zombie. Man, this game just got dark. This game just got hells of dark. That zombie was pregnant. Although it would be kind of humorous if she did like a little squat thing and she was like... Pfft. And then it like fired like a baby zombie at you that was like... Pfft. It just like crawled at you hella fast like... Aah. I don't know. If it was my game, that's what I would do. But that's because I'm sick in the head. Oh man, is a herd approaching? Well, where'd it approach from then? Oh shit. Where's it coming from? Is it coming from the side that's worst defended? I bet it's coming from the side that's worst defended. Maybe they'll run into my craftily crafted spiky walls. Oh no. They're coming from the south. But I've managed to kite them all off on myself. Which is actually a good thing. Because I don't think the defenses would have held on this side when it comes to those. I'm going to upgrade the gate. And I'm actually just going to take a whole bunch of wood. And let's upgrade the walls real fast so that the walls are in better shape. We have more than enough supplies to do this. We have like 230 wood, so that's fine. That's been upgraded. I can't upgrade spike traps. But maybe in the future we'll be able to do something with that. I don't know what it wants from the arrows. Upgrade it? Oh, cool. I have a house now. Huzzah. So it looks like I can select a different survivor if I want. I don't know. Let's be that guy for a while. My my half-hearted hope was that maybe it would... Oh, we can upgrade the gate again, too. How much does upgrading the walls again cost? Oh, we've actually got, like, a metal fence this time around. 
Well, that's pretty sweet. Let's get back out here and we'll collect a few more resources. I had no idea that you could even do this. I played this game a bit, but like I hadn't actually tried to upgrade things multiple times yet. Yup, yeah, picking up wood. I'm picking up wood. Getting splinters in my fingers, no good. I'm picking up a mushroom and we'll just ingest it all day long. I'm picking up weeds and picking up wood. There we go. Continue. I think we're all right right here, but like... We're not getting a ton of wood from some of these trees, which is kind of the worrisome part. It was my hope that maybe we'd find like some of the mature trees up here. Trees that sit around being like, bro, I'm so above this activity right now. Can't be caught out with these kids, you know. I'm just so mature. There's a mature tree right there. Cool. Although I feel like if you have to point out how mature you are, you're not actually that mature. Just like a thing that I think might be true. Is that if you have to point it out, I bet you're not. Like, I have to point it out constantly because if I don't tell people, how will they know? It's like giving to charity. If you don't tell people, how will they know? They'll just be like, oh, he doesn't care about charity. I'm just dicking around right now. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no clue what I'm talking about right now. Seriously, I'm talking about nothing at the moment. And it just keeps happening. And we've already beat the paneling off of like half these trucks over here. So who cares? It looks like all of our characters got eaten by zombies before we got over here. Basically, there are little guys who like sit around the houses and stuff like that and have guns and will defend themselves. And normally you can rescue them and bring them back to your base. But it doesn't seem to have worked out so great this time around. I don't think they survived it. I don't know what these giant bones are over here. I still... These Clifford the dog-sized bones. I still have not figured out what the shit those are for. I assume they do something. But what they do specifically... Meh. Shrug. Oh, wow. My health is really low. I didn't realize how bad my health was. My health is terrible. Terrible! All right. So we've got tons of zombies over here. Can I run them over? I'm going to run these zombies over. This is going to be awesome. Get out of here, zombies. Yeah! Vehicular homicide. And then we jump out. Would it be necrocide, though? Because you're killing the dead. It's like vehicular necrocide. Blood! Blood everywhere. All right, so I'm going to try and trucker jack again because that seemed to be the most efficient way to do this. Trucker jacking every day. Trucker jacking in the way. Trucker jacking. Although it does seem to distribute the wood somewhat unevenly. And I prefer that my wood have an even distribution. A smooth, even distribution. Ooh, more mushrooms. Those ones might not be done yet. The mushrooms have to hit like a certain level of freshness before you can smack them and collect them. And maybe those ones are not there yet. Although we have two nice trees right here. I don't know if they're nice trees. They might be terrible trees. They might be trees that are for all kinds of horrible racist sentiments. It's hard to tell. Trees these days, right? Trees these days. What can you say about them? I don't want to fall in the water because I don't know what's down here. Shit, I fell in the water. I don't know what's down here. Um, <laughs> Apparently, that's like a giant bridge down there. And we can actually get up on it. I wonder how you defend your base long enough, though. Because the zombies always seem to break through either your defenses or some of the other spots. Huh. Well, for now, let's finish scouting this area, getting as much of this wood as I can. And once we've got that settled in, what I'd like to do is let's maybe have a look around and see if we can find a few more trucks and cars and things. So that I can steal their paneling. I would assume the bridge would probably be great for that. I don't know if you can tear this corrugated steel off the side of the roads or whatever. But uh, that might be useful as well. There we go. Give me all your metals. All of your metal. Give me your metal -y me. Okay. So now that we've collected all the meatlies. We only have 27 wood inside of our base. And that kind of worries me, although I have almost 400 on my person. I think if you die, you actually lose the building materials. So you definitely don't want to do that. If you end up dying, that's kind of bad. So let's finish off our defenses here. I would like for... Um... I 
I don't see how a tower helps me. Like, if I have to man the tower, that does not strike me as being an intensely interesting thing to have. Oh, good, my cat's going to bother me right now. Just what I always wanted. An annoying kitty here to bother me while I'm in the middle of an episode. Don't bump my arm. I don't like you like that. You and I aren't friends like that anymore. You attacked me. I was on the phone with a person today, and you attacked me, and you bit my leg while I wasn't even bothering you. I didn't even bother you a little bit, and you attacked me. You attacked me when I was sitting there minding my own business. Now, if I had bothered you first, I'd be like, no harm, no foul. I started it. But I didn't start it. You were evil, and you were mean, and you were cruel, kitty. And therefore, I no longer love you. Oh, snap. I think my spike stopped these ones. Although it looks like if you just pile wood around your base, you'll be fine too. I'm going to put in like concentric spike walls for right now. Because it's probably easier than... Although you do have to space them a little bit, I think. Otherwise, that happens right there. But I think the side spikes will still work. I don't know. We're going to try it out right now. So if they don't work... I suppose we're about to find out. That's not what I wanted either. Here, you come back. You've messed... It. Son of a bitch. You've messed up. We had a pattern. And you've ruined it, sir. Now, rotation doesn't work sometimes because of the snap-in feature. So occasionally what you'll have to do is you'll have to just respawn the fence. Like, step backwards and then put it over here. And, like, sometimes it'll work the way you want it to. Or you have to put in a wall like that right there. And then it'll work perfectly fine sometimes, like half the time. Alright, well, let's try and move it then. There we go. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I desired. That's not even what I desired a little bit. Here, I'll put that right there. Let's get this tree out of the way. Because I really want to get this project done. Like, this is an important project. Having two lines of spikes will make it so that we can leave and, like, ignore a horde for a little bit. And if we can ignore a horde for a little bit, it'll make my life easier. Alright, so we got spikes. Can we put them in like that? I want them to be... There we go. I want them to be rotated like that. And sometimes the feature just doesn't work the way you want it to, so you got to fiddle with it for a minute. These ones over here are going to be rough, so we'll try like so, like so, alright. And then we will try again like so. That does leave a little gap right here. I wanted to see what towers do, though. Do the towers come with a shooter? So you need a survivor for the tower to work. So we need to go find some survivors, like right now. Let's go have a look around and see what we can find. Oh, two of the survivors are already dead because they got eaten by zombies before we even started. And so that's going to be a minor bummer right there. I don't really know how to resolve that. Uh, there's not going to be much I can do about that one. We'll continue with our chain link fence here. I have also never verified what happens if they get inside your base and they eat your house. I assume you lose. That would be my most robust assumption is that you just lose the game. Hey, there's one. That's a good one. Yeah. Got some oodles of foodles. I definitely don't want to drive my truck into a creek. So if I could avoid that for right now, that would be fantastic. I do wish you could pick up the wood while you were, like, in the truck. That'd be super swell. So is there anybody around here that needs my help? Does anyone need aid? Anyone? Is anyone in need of aid? Anyone? I'm here to help you. Look at me, I'm a zombie killing machine. And also kind of a nice guy, it's pretty swell. I don't know if I can fit through there, but I'm gonna do it anyways. It looks like there's some people like in this little this little outcast village. Although it's in the middle of town, so I suppose it'd be an in-cast village. Dude, truck MVP for tree chopping. I'll tell you that much. Although it does just launch the trees everywhere. Why go around when you can go through? Oh no, they went straight through the front. Did they just walk into my gate? No! Oh, it resets it, really. So they just walk straight through the front. 
Interesting. So then you start back at herd one. Okay, well, at least we know that the fail criteria is not that bad. So, like, I can understand that. I didn't expect them... I thought the gate would stop them, but apparently they can walk straight through gates. Because I didn't... Oh, I thought there was a locking thing, maybe. There's not a locking thing. Huh. Well, we'll have to figure that out in the next episode. This is called Don't Bite Me, Bro. I hope you guys like the game so far. Sorry about the technical issues with the last upload. Uh, it was due to Bandicam being a piece of shit. Little piece of advice, never use Bandicam for anything. It's a terrible program. It's the worst. And it'll ruin your life. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. I hope you enjoyed it so far. We might do more. Let me know. Leave lots of comments. Be very vocal about it. If you want me to do more, I can be coerced into doing more. You can twist my arm. It's quite bendy. It's quite bendy. Feel it. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.